What is going on guys and welcome back to another brand new Division 2 video. This is going to be episode 2 of modding weapons showcasing the best attachments in the video to squeeze out the absolute most damage possible. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys do, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe channel if you guys are new. We are super close to 5200 subscribers still, but other than that, let's get right into the video guys. Today's video, we're going to be specifying on getting the most damage from your SMGs as possible. In this case, we are going to be looking at the tactical vector SMG. So first taking a look at the optics, we're going to be rocking the reflex sight as it adds 20% critical range, which does actually increase the critical strike range from 30 yards to 36 yards. And there are a couple other sights, but for now we're going to be taking a look at this one specifically because we're going for pure damage and obviously with that extra range, we're going to be getting more damage. So next up is going to be the magazine, going to keep it pretty short here. You can't really use anything other than the extended mag version uh, due to the fact that SMGs have super small magazines. Maybe if you get the extra talent, you might be able to get away with it, but for the most part, everyone's going to be using uh, the extended 9mm mag that gives you 20 bullets. So moving on to the under barrel rail, we're going to be using the laser pointer attachment, which grants an extra 5% critical hit chance because obviously uh, with this weapon specifically, we're trying to use any attachments that can convert uh, any extra damage for us in the long run. And last but not least, for the muzzle, we're going to be using the Ospreay 9 Suppressor, which adds 5% critical hit chance. Again, uh, you could kind of use either of these two, but like I said, since we're going for like pure damage, uh, critical hit chance is another thing uh, that grants us the ability to have the chance to get more damage uh, rather than using accuracy or stability. And plus, uh, it's an SMG, so you're not going to really be having long range gunfights. Therefore, uh, most of the SMGs in this game don't really have that much recoil or enough recoil where it's pretty much to the fact where you have to use uh, like all accuracy and stability mods. So uh, that's the other reason why we're going with the uh, the Osprey 9 suppressor, which grants us that, that extra critical hit chance. So far from the weapon itself, and also obviously all of the attachments that we put on the gun itself, uh, we do have a total of 24.5% crit chance. Uh, obviously 14.5% comes from the gun itself because you get crit hit chance on every single SMG no matter what. And then obviously that remaining 10% is going to come from the two attachments, which is going to be the laser pointer and obviously the suppressor, as well as we did add six yards of range with the uh, the attachments that we put on there as well. as we did add uh, the 20 extra bullets to the magazine with the extended magazine. Quickly, I did want to go into my stats and just talk about a couple of bonuses that are pretty important in terms of adding extra damage to your SMGs or just extra damage in general. Um, and also, I did want to show the, uh, the talents that are on my vector because it's an SMG. So... Uh, obviously, for my vector, I have close and personal uh, cannon, which uh, ideally I'm looking for a weapon. I haven't touched my vector yet. I haven't recalibrated anything. I'm just waiting until I get that perfect second talent to recalibrate off. So obviously, I have cannon, allegro, and close and personal. And then obviously, uh, I would trade off cannon for something else. Uh, but with all the changes that are going to be coming in the big patch, uh, it's kind of dimmed down uh, or dumbed down, I should say, uh, the amount of talents that I want to put on there for damage. But uh, once I get the right weapon, I will do so and change that cannon talent because. Honestly, it's not really that useful. So going on to my damage right here, you guys can see that obviously I have uh, almost 17,000 weapon damage. I have 17% crit hit chance and 45% critical hit damage. Uh, all that percentage will go up, but um, unfortunately with this new build that I'm building right now, which I will showcase later, um, I haven't done any recalibrations. I haven't really touched anything on it really. Uh, I've only changed like one talent on one piece and that's that's literally it. Um, and then obviously my headshot damage is 80%. And then just going on to uh, the other bonus, I have 10% SMG damage bonus. Uh, and then I have another 4.5% damage for all weapon bonus damage. Um, and that's pretty much all the main stuff. Like I said, uh, just going back to my build, I'll show you guys what I have right now. Um, I'm running two-piece silk cloth, so I'm going to get that extra 10% 10 bonus for SMG damage. And this is where like all of my crit comes from, so the bonus gives me an extra 8 and then pretty much every piece, I'm not going to go through every piece, but pretty much every piece that I have uh, has either one crit or both crits. And then it has some form of damage, whether or not it's like weapon damage or headshot damage, as well as uh, most of the talents I'm going for are either vital uh, or surge. Something that gives me like pure headshot damage or something that will help my health out so that I go, don't get melted. But uh, yeah, I just want to show that because I think it was pretty important uh, to show like where you want to spec in and uh, what can help your damage just boost a little bit higher. Also, I can't believe I almost forgot this, but uh, I didn't talk about the offensive mods, how helpful they are. Um, usually I look for any mods that are purple, uh, just because they only have uh, they only have two attributes, which means that the percentages are going to be higher compared to a high-end offensive mod, which are going to have three. 
uh, or four attributes, which means each attribute is going to be just a little bit lower, so they're going to space it out and make it more equal. So obviously, uh, you guys can see right here, um, I run a lot of purple mods. I have a couple of these ones uh, that have like 1.5% weapon damage, but this is where my just overall weapon damage that you guys saw from before uh, comes from, like 2.5% weapon damage. Uh, ideally, if you're running like double SMGs or mainly SMGs, you're going to probably want something that has just straight up SMG damage rather than something like assault rifle damage or LMG damage. Uh, but right here, you guys can see like 5% optimal range, 1.5%. Uh, right here, SMG critical hit chance 1%. That's not that good because it's a low gear score, but uh, you guys get the point. Uh, the purple ones are obviously the best ones in the game. I don't really use the blue ones because they're going to get nerfed anyway, so there's no point of going for them right now. Uh, but the purple ones are what you want to look for, and they're super, super helpful. They can boost like maybe uh, like up to 10% for something specifically if you have like max uh, offensive protocol mods that are purple. And also, lastly, uh, I did just want to throw that in there. Uh, some people are probably wondering why I didn't talk about any gear talents or any weapon talents for gaining like extra damage or anything like that. Um, the reasoning behind this is because uh, with the raid update, whatever you want to call it, the update that comes out in May now. It was supposed to come out this month, but they did push it back. Uh, the reason why I didn't talk about it is because that update is going to be coming out. Uh, and with that update, uh, they're going to be nerfing a ton of the big weapon talents and a lot of the big uh, gear talents as well that people are using right now. And I thought I would just pretty much leave it up to you guys in terms of the viewers watching uh, to choose what they want to use for now. The reason why I say for now is because they're getting nerfed. And I didn't want to have like a video be like irrelevant from like that time period for two or three weeks where people get to, you know, use it for that time period. And then after the update comes out, it's pretty much like non-existent or they're not going to be non-existent. You just have to change the amount of reds you use or the amount of blues you have to use. And pretty much they're not going to be as versatile and as, as good as they were. And, and some of the other talents are going to be getting buffed as well. So um, I guess I'll save that for a separate video in terms of talking about the best ones to use for getting extra damage or whatever it is that people want to gain. But guys, that is going to about do it for the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.